Hello, people. I'm about to give a, I'm about to get pwned, essentially. I'm about to give off some opinions that are from the heart that aren't necessarily satirical. There is a user by the name of um. Well, well, you know, he's, he seems to be a pretty guy, but get pretty good guy. By McDonald Scott twenty four, he made a response to Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye nineteen seventy five, and Eagle Eye kind of pwned the pwned him quite well, I suppose. Eagle Eye is, a, is a supposedly, I, I don't know for sure. I don't know this from a, a video that Agent of Doubt put out, but he quickly took down that Eagle Eye is an economist of, of a sort. He has a degree in it or something like that. So basically what happened was um, if you look at Eagle Eye's uh, video where it says that we're in iPhone, a two men video, blah, blah, blah. There's other words after it. So just look for that video and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. Basically, um, McDonald had taken down his videos um, against this guy, and well, I, I'm feeling a little bad about it, so I'm I'm just going to spouse out some some shit that's probably going to get pwned because I'm speaking from a um, purely emotional stance, and I want uh, and I basically want to say that getting pwned on a particular um, whatever the fuck it happens to be, is, isn't that bad. You know, I, I don't want us to, you know, start to, you know, get mad at each other because we have, um, lost, you know, or you feel bad that someone pwned you. I mean, big deal, you know? That's how you learn. And I think people respect people who've been taken to the mat, been knocked the fuck out, and have come back relearned, you know? And I want you to know, I really don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now, but I'm going to have an emotional response. So here we go. Okay, so look, Eagle Eye, the Tea Party is obviously racist, and most of the shit that they spout, spout out is just complete fucking, fucking nonsense. I mean, it's clear, it's clear to me that the Tea Party is a, an obvious racist movement. I mean, that's the only reason they've ever been out. I mean, Sarah Palin, obviously is just a just a product of what they are. And and if you take the Tea Party out of it, you could easily see how the government as a whole would get better. Okay, so basically the Tea Party's for a lower spending. But why didn't they complain when the Republicans had huge deficits in debt? Hmm also the Tea Party's for interpretation different interpretations of the comp of the Constitution. And if they are eliminating Medicare, Social Security, and welfare, what the fuck is their point anyway? And also, if they didn't complain when the Bush administration expanded the Medicare and spent billions on welfare and Social Security, where exactly is the basis of their argument? You know, you know what their basis of their argument is? Bullshit. All right, so... Basically, last but not least, um, the Nebraska youth school system has some weird ass sort of stupid way of doing things. First of all, they consider special programs to help youth suffering from behavioral drug related problems. I mean, seriously, is that even an issue? I mean, it's such a small percentage. They should be spending that money. To, they should be spending those rates towards their minuscule unemployment rate. I mean, kids are going to be kids. Every kid is going to do some drugs at some point in time. Seriously, it's just a waste of money and a waste of time. California and New York have tons of programs, and their their teens have done a lot of better jobs than Nebraskan teens, which are inbred, Bible-dumping, fucking idiots.